Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now sometimes when you're making pulleys and uh, wheels by hand, it's hard to get it so that your wheel runs true without a wobble in it. Now that is particularly true if you're using a bracing bit because when you are pushing down, you tend to go off wobbly and crooked. So you need some way to be able to make it a little bit straighter. Now the best and most primitive method I've found is a pump drill, which is basically a broomstick with some string, a piece of wood here, a circle of wood for uh, spinning, and a bit on the end. In this case it's a nail, it can be a, dr a drill bit, and you place it on your wood. And the good thing is that because of the long stick, it will be nice and perpendicular when it spins, you, and then you pump it with the string. So the first thing we have is a, a broomstick, nice and straight, okay? And then a square of wood, find the center by going corner to corner. Then either use a chisel to make a hole, chisel and hammer, or if you've got your drill bit already handy, then you're going to drill a hole through the board. And then pass the stick through. And then take a nail, say a four inch or a three, and then nail that into the pole. Now cut the head off. Then I'm going to file a little bit of a flat on the nail that way, and then run a groove that way on opposite sides. Then I'm going to file a, a bevel on this direction, and then the opposite direction to give me a cutting edge here and a cutting edge there. So that we're going to get it like that. Or well, you can flatten that head a little bit and then file a point on it like an arrow head to give some clearance. So it's something like that I suppose. Anyway, sharp point on it anyhow. Then I'm going to give it a bit of a spin just to find out where circular is. Now it will work with the corners on but it's a little safer if you take those off and make it as circular as possible. Now if that circle is um, loose on there you can get a wedge or two and wedge it into place to make it firmer. Now with some string or some cord, about two to three times as long as your broomstick. Either drill a hole through there and feed that through, which is good, or halfway up the cord, you're gonna wind it around a few times and tie it off so it's firm at the top. Then with another piece of broomstick or a stick, sometimes they just have a flat stick with a hole in the center, but that's gonna go here, down below, and then I'm going to tie the other end of those bits of cord to that. So that the cord forms like a letter A. Now to use it, I'm going to just mark out where I'm gonna drill my hole, put the bit on it, and then with the pole just wind those strings up so that it rises, hold the, the top loosely and then you can gauge where perpendicular is better and then just pump that so that the string makes it rotate. So if I put a uh, like a kebab stick or something through that pilot hole, you can see I'm getting a much better perpendicular hole as a pilot hole. So that now if I make my hole and go halfway from this side, flip it over and do the other half from the other side, I'll get a much more perpendicular hole. So there we have it, and with the square we can see that we're getting a much squarer fitting there square uh, much more perpendicular and so when we come to making the rest of the wheel or the pulley it's not going to wobble quite so much and any um, adjustments to it will be very minimal 
So, there we are. Have fun with it.